What's up watchers, Will here with your Godzilla Kong video for the week. So, since we've been putting a lot of focus on Kong recently, I think we should take a look back at one of the new additions to the Monsterverse. The Mutos, aka the massive unidentified terrestrial organisms, and what they are other than those obvious adjectives. So, let's begin. Their name is actually a pretty generic term used by the Monarch organization itself for all giant monsters, which Frankly, it isn't as cool as Daikaiju, but they're government, so you know it has to be kind of complicated. The male stands at about 61 meters tall, while the female is a much larger 91 meters, which kind of reminds me of dangerous spiders or mantises in terms of their gender dysmorphia. They do have uh, notations as the male is designated as number one, or the Hakamoto or Hokkaido Muto, and the female is the number two, or the Fem Muto, aka the female Muto, if that wasn't obvious. The Mutos have a metallic gray to black colored exoskeleton. Their eyes glow a reddish orange color with their triangular jaws resembling a beak almost. The male Muto has a slight variation with two mandibles while the females is obviously more beak-like. The female also has two forelimbs with a smaller pair on its chest which kind of reminds me of Cloverfield. The male is similar, however those two forelimbs that it has in the front can also be turned into wings. They have slender hind limbs that are kind of like hooves, while the forelimbs end like a curved claw or sickle shape, which they walk on like a gorilla would on its knuckles. And as far as origins go, they are said to be ancient parasites from the same era and ecosystem as Godzilla, and they're similar to him in where they feed off of radiation, but they're more drawn to man-made radiation rather than what the Earth produces like Godzilla is eventually leading to them being awake or discovered in the 90s, awakened and event inevitably returning for the 2014 film. And as we all know now, they're both dead. Tell me, what other monsters would you want to see kind of explained or explored and whatnot in videos kind of like this? Tell me down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Hybrid Network. I'm Will. I'll see you next time.